The following are not beginner peptides, as if I'm talking like the others were, but these next ones I'm talking about, they're more high risk, high reward. And this is where people get in trouble chasing really rapid gains with limited safety data to back it up. Let's hit the two big ones out there, IGF LR3 and Falstatin. IGF LR3 is a synthetic version of the hormone IGF1 that's designed to be more stable or long acting and more potent. Now researchers actually made this peptide in order to be able to research the effects of IGF1 because IGF1 is not very stable, it doesn't stick around long, and it's bound up to certain proteins which made it difficult to study. Hence came along IGF LR3 and somewhere in there people started using it on their own bodies. So IGF LR3 is designed to just skip the whole growth hormone pathway and goes straight to the tissues and sticks around and does it in a very potent way. So the pros are increased strength, increased muscle mass, increased recovery, more fat loss, but it comes with risks of lowering your blood sugar, increasing insulin resistance, causing a little bit of anxiety, potentially increasing visceral organ growth and causing that kind of like turtle shell look to very muscular people. And then there's folostatin. This is a myostatin brake releaser. So you can think of this peptide as having the ability to cut the brakes on muscle growth. You see, we all have something called myostatin that puts a limiter on your muscle growth. And when you take that break off, your muscles just get huge. And that's what folostatin is designed to do. But you have to keep in mind that even though you have really big muscles, they don't always necessarily come with strength gains. And it sounds amazing, but in reality, it's kind of hard to dose. You get really inconsistent results. 